In this video, I'm gonna show you how to, from scratch, assemble your first DIY electric skateboard. Hi, my name's Tom, your friendly e-skate nomad, and on my channel, I like to review the latest in personal electric transport. So if you love electric skateboarding as much as I do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our next e-skate adventure. Today we are looking at a kit from Build Kit Boards and I want to say a big thank you to BKB for sponsoring this video. This company's mission is to make last mile transportation educational, empowering and affordable. We are looking at the Taito electric skateboard kit with the extended trucks and motor upgrade kit. And here's an example of the board fully assembled, but let's break down the whole process so you can make your own. We're gonna take a look at the different components you get inside the box. First of all, I wanna say all these parts were extremely well packaged in bob wrap and everything was clearly labeled. The first thing we're gonna be looking at is the deck. And straight off the bat, the deck is unlike most electric skateboard decks and has a nice snub nose shape and a nice wide footprint. The deck is 80 centimeters long and 24 centimeters wide, which gives you plenty of room for your feet and adjustability for future upgrades. The deck also features a nice concave, so you can really plant your feet and with a two inch kick tail, you won't have any issues with making tight turns. You also get a checklist with all the parts that are in the box so you know that everything has been double checked, but I fail to see the giant QR code code which takes you to a link on how to put this board together so I went in completely blind. Build Kit Board has also provided me with a 5% discount for an already affordable kit which is eSkate Nomad if you want to pick up your own board. Next up is the charger which is a 3 amp charger with the batteries that I have chosen, I am happy with the size and speed of this charger. It also features an XT90 head, so you can use it for other boards which have a 12S configuration, which is nice. Next up, we are looking at the base plates with the bushings, which are red and are a traditional kingpin design. Then the motors. Now the motors that come with this board are absolutely huge, and I've decided to upgrade them to the 6384 motors, which is an optional extra for this kit. For reference, I have compared these with the Evolve GTR motors, and as you can see, they absolutely tower over it. This is a battery with a 12S 1P configuration using the 18650 cells. Now, the reason why I've chosen this battery is because the board is gonna be used for flight and travel, which means that it has to be under that watt hour and have a flight safe battery. They also feature a 12S 2P version with the larger 21700 cell for larger capacity, if that's what you're looking for. I've also decided to add a second battery, which will increase the battery size to a 12S 2P with a total capacity of 3,400 milliamps, which is perfect for how I want to use this board. What is amazing about BKB is the all new Railcore system, which is a modular electric system that has never been seen before in the e-skate industry, but there'll be more about that later on in the video. This also extends with the ESC, which is the brain of the board, which controls all the electronics. BKB has decided to go with the Lingy electric speed controller for this build. Now the wheels define how the board feels under your feet and this board comes with black and white 97 millimeter wheels which i can say are surprisingly spongy now these are in a 78a in hardness which gives you a nice soft ride and plenty of grip for the roughest of uk roads the pulleys that come with this board are 20t which are healthy balance between torque and top speed however they do offer a 48t version so if you need a bit more talk, that's what you want to go for. Next up are the upgraded trucks that I spoke about at the start of the video. Now these are wider at 236 millimeters. These are the extended truck options. Now the trucks have an eight millimeter thick axle, which means you can put most standard skateboard bearings on your board. So if you don't like the ones that they come with, you can adjust them later on down the road. The reason why I went for the wider trucks is because I wanted a higher speed with a small, short, pocket rocket. Of course, you are provided with the necessary hardware, tools, Loctite, skate tool, base plate, motor mounts, and wrenches you need to assemble and put this board together. Then finally, you get the remote, which has a nice clear screen showing the speed and battery range for the board and remote. Now that we've gone through all the components to make the board, let's put this board together. So let's get started with the deck. 
the first thing you want to do is add the first part of the rail core system and if you look really closely there is an arrow showing you what direction to add it to the deck the next thing you want to do is just simply turn over the deck insert the two allen head screws and firmly tighten them with the allen key that is provided after you have added the first part it's super simple to snap all the other parts of the rail core underneath this seems to be the most simple way of putting this part together once this is done simply turn it over again and add the remaining silver screws and tighten down as shown here when assembling your trucks you want to make sure that the angle of the base plate is facing away from the center of the deck this is to ensure that the trucks are lined up right you also want to add the riser pad underneath the trucks when assembling your base plate after everything is lined up simply add your hardware and the appropriate nut through the deck and tighten with the wrench that is provided. You want to add the next bolt to the opposite corner of the base plate trucks, and this will make it easier with the assembly process. Once all the bolts and nuts are added, you just want to repeat this process with the opposite side of the deck with the other base plate and riser. We are next gonna assemble the trucks and the wheels. You want to start by removing the axle nut on the truck with the washer and make sure you put these in a safe place so you don't lose them later. When assembling the wheels, you want to place the bearing on the truck axle with the wheel facing inwards and firmly pressing down to make sure the bearing sits true. Once the first bearing is inserted, simply fit the wheel back over Add your spacer and add the second bearing and press down firmly. Once you've done this, complete the process with all the remaining wheels until all the bearings are assembled inside your wheels. Once this stage is completed, add the spacer to the trucks, then the washer, your wheel, washer, then finally your axle nut, and it should look something like this. Once both trucks are completed, you need to remove the base plate nut, the bushings, insert your truck, then replace the bushing with the nut firmly tightened down. When mounting your motors to your motor mount, you want to make sure that you're fixing them in the orientation shown here. With the wires facing to the left, ensuring that the motor is being placed in the correct way. Grab your motor screws, Allen key and Loctite and lightly mount your motor to the motor plate with all four screws being lightly mounted. Once this stage is completed, grab your motor pulley and add it to the motor shaft, ensuring that the grub screw is loose and is clear to add to your motor shaft. Next up, you wanna tighten down the grub screw with a little bit of Loctite so you know that the motor pulley is not going to move. When attaching the motor mount to the truck, make sure that the motor is facing away from the deck. This is really important so the motor can spin freely. You also wanna leave like a slight gap between the two motors to make sure that they don't don't rub against each other and are mounted correctly. You may need to come back to this and adjust the motor placement when mounting the pulleys later. You can also see that there are two screws on the motor plate. You'll need to tighten down both of these to ensure that your motor is sitting correctly and is strong on the truck. When assembling the belt and the motor pulley, you might want to loosen the motor screws just a little bit to allow a little bit of play when attaching the belt. Once the wheel and pulley is added, adjust the motor so the belt has a slight tension in it, not too hard, but you want something like kind of like a medium stake feeling. So if you want to grab your hand, give that a little push, that's how much tension you should have in your belt. Once you've found the right amount of tension, you wanna add a little bit of Loctite in each bolt to ensure that the motor will not move. You may need to come back to this later when the belt stretches just a little bit. Here's the super simple part of the build. With the benefit of the rail core system, you simply just attach your ESC first, then your batteries, and then snap them together with a simple click, adding a slight pin to the end of the rail core system. Once all the electronics are on the board, attach the motor wires to the ESC with the correct colors pairing up. Make sure you do not cross these, as it will result in the motors spinning in the wrong direction. And if you have a little bit of shrink wrap lying around, you might want to add this up or tidy this up a bit later. Then finally turn on the board, turn on the remote, and then you are ready to ride. And that's it guys, you have assembled your own first DIY electric skateboard. And it is super simple and a fun process. And this has been one of the most enjoyable unboxings and assembly processes I have ever done. And as I said in the beginning of the video, I did this completely blind, but it was a lot, a lot of fun. So in the next video, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this board out and see how well my first board rides. So see you guys on the next one. Peace.